Capricorn is an earth sign. They are the sea goat and they are also a cardinal sign. Many people have many misinterpretations when it comes to Capricorn. We tend to have a bad reputation for being cheaters, rude, insensitive. The list goes on honestly, but I only have 60 seconds. So let me just clear some of this up. The reason why we come across as insensitive is because we wear our heart on our sleeve. We are not necessarily in tune with our own emotions, so we are definitely not in tune with other people's emotions. Once we are in tune with our emotions, we can be very good friends, lovers, and mothers. We are extremely family oriented and that is the main thing that drives us. We tend to be funny, although we aren't given enough credit for it. We tend to be on the conservative side and have good arguments. Aquarius. Aquarius is the water bearer. They are an air sign and also a fixed sign. They are known to be intelligent, witty, quirky, individualistic, slash unique. All of your witch friends are probably Aquarians. If not, they probably have Aquarius somewhere in their chart. They are very open to witchcraft, astrology, crystal healing, tarot cards, all of that kind of stuff. They are probably the first people to judge squiggle eyebrows, but you know an Aquarius probably came up with the idea in the first place. Deep down, they are very, very nice people although they can appear extremely aloof and detached, which can make them seem as if they don't care. Like Capricorn, they wear their heart on their sleeve. When someone mentions Pisces, this is basically what I picture. So Pisces is a water sign. They are the fish. They are a mutable sign. So very much like the Aquarius, they are very unique in their own way. They are a lot more complex than people give them credit for. They share traits with all of the zodiac signs, so they really get along with anyone. They are quite sensitive, and a big hoodie came to mind because just like the Cancer, they want that emotional comfort to cry in something. They are very intuitive, but they also trust people a little too much sometimes, which often gets them hurt and fucks up their trust. Even more than Aquarius, Pisces is probably the most accepting sign. They are friends with all different kinds of walks of life. They may be sweet and charming, but don't get on their bad side. They can be evil. Aries, they are a fire sign, a cardinal sign, and they are the ram. They're the first sign of the zodiac. Many people consider them the babies of the Zodiac because they act in a childlike kind of way. Not immature, not childish. They are very playful and very flirtatious. They are most likely that friend who pokes fun, but you love them anyway. They can poke all the fun they want, but as soon as you say one little thing, let's just say they're a little fragile, but they're just like everyone else. They just want to be accepted and they don't tolerate rudeness or meanness. There's a difference between poking fun at someone and straight up bullying. They're often best friends with Aquarians because they balance each other out very well. They have masculine energy and many of the woman Aries are good at construction. Taurus is an earth sign. They are the bull and they are also a fixed sign. <laughs> I have never met a Taurus who is not into the alternative kind of aesthetic or lifestyle. They appreciate beauty of all different kinds. While they give off the vibe that they are accepting every single part of you, they can be a little judgmental. Now it's not coming from a malicious place. They just want to know what your flaws are, what your insecurities are. They want you to trust them. While they are often too lazy to actually go out and seek vengeance, they want to know everything about you so that they can have that information and threaten to use it against you if you ever cross them. Usually they won't, but they enjoy being intimidating. They get a rise out of it. 
Gemini, air sign, the twins, mutable. Someone took the traits, outgoing, friendly, eccentric, creative, artistic, talented, and then the traits, down to earth, emotional, judgmental, low mood, tired, hardworking. Morphed it into one person and created Gemini. You guys are extremely hardworking. You guys are so creative. You're such a great listener. You listen to everything everyone says. You offer the greatest advice. You come across as extremely wise, but you're also very secretive. You have your own secrets. Your hidden emotions comes out a lot in your art, but you also talk about people who trusted you. You didn't mean to hurt them, but sometimes you gotta think before you speak. Cancer. Water sign. Cardinal. The crab. Named after a disease. Because that is what you guys are. I'm just kidding. Your emotions can get hard to deal with sometimes though. I'm not going to lie. And it's not necessarily the fact that you're crying all the time. Because usually you're not. You feel things. You feel everything. But sometimes you guys can get a little crabby and you take your emotions out on people and that is what is hard to deal with. But you guys are so caring. You're so loving. You're so nurturing. You're some of the best friends I've ever had. And you make awesome mothers, whether that be of a pet, of your friends, of your actual child. Never change. Leo, you guys are a fire sign, you are a fixed sign, and you are also the lion, which you know what that means. You are very proud, and it could be seen as a bad thing to some people, but I look at it as a good thing. You know what you're good at, and that's all that really matters. You do have some insecurities, and that, I think, is what kind of leads you to this eccentric attitude and personality, but it's you. You love anything shiny and sparkly and bedazzled because it makes you look good. And when you look good, you feel amazing on the inside. Just remember that your looks aren't everything to everyone. What really matters is your personality, how you carry yourself, how you perceive yourself. Try to not come off as insensitive sometimes. Virgo, you guys are an earth sign, you are the virgin, and you are a mutable sign. The majority of you are highly intelligent, you know what you want in life, and you know what you need to do in life, but y'all are so hard on yourselves. Yeah, people may look at you and be like, eh, I don't like Virgos because they're really critical. The thing is, Virgos are very accepting. They love their friends just the way they are. But if you're constantly effing up or something, they will tell you, listen, you need to do this and blah blah blah. But for the most part, they try to rearrange and fix themselves more than anyone. You guys may get down on yourselves, but you're really hard workers and you guys are fucking hilarious. You don't get enough credit for that at all. And I love you guys. <sighs> Libra, you are an air sign. You are the scale and you are a cardinal sign. Much like Leo, you like to look good. But you're more low-key about it. You like to look elegant and delicate. You like to have the persona that you are a really nice person and you're really innocent and you don't have any hate in your heart whatsoever because that is very true. Due to your indecisiveness or your inability to lean one way or another, due to you having to remain in the middle to be a peacemaker, some people may not count on you to be the primary friend to go to for advice. While you have a lot of information, it's hard to rely on you for your honest opinion because you always try to see both sides, which can be frustrating for us sometimes.
Scorpio. For some reason, you want everyone to view you like this. Actually, I know the reason. You try your hardest to protect yourself. You understand how people can be. People can be fucking evil. Much like Taurus, you are just trying to protect yourself by appearing intimidating to other people. When really, deep down, you're more like this. Scorpios are highly intelligent. They are highly intuitive. And they are really hard workers. So at the end of the day, they want an oversized hoodie or an oversized nightie to curl up in and be sad in. Because Scorpios have a lot of hidden sadness. Hence their natural intimidating nature to push people away. I love you Scorpios. Sagittarius. Fire sign, the archer, a mutable sign. You know you look good. We all know you look good. I know you hike a million hours a day and there's a lot to show for it. But just sit down for a second. Just sit down. Shh. You guys are so loud. So loud. Oh my god. There's a such thing as a good Sagittarius and a bad Sagittarius. The good Sagittarians are really fun to be around. Really loud. You gotta love them. And then the bad Sagittarians have a huge ego. They will go vegan. And they will paint a picture of how bad of a person you are for not being vegan like them. The bad Sages think they're better than everyone. The good Sages mind their own business and go travel. Thank you to everyone who viewed my astrological <laughs> videos. 60 seconds of each sign. That was really fun. I had a lot of fun doing it. Like I've been doing this for I think 5 hours now. I made sure to try my best to match the aesthetic, to match the style, to match the appearance of each zodiac sign when I think of them. Everything I said is based on my experience. I don't want to offend anyone. I mean, I am a Capricorn, so part of me is like, eh, whatever. But then another part of me is like, well, I don't want to deal with people offended in the comments. People don't even believe in astrology, so don't even take it very seriously. This was all for fun, and I had fun, and if you enjoyed, maybe I will consider doing more Zodiac videos if people are down for that.